Hi, I'm Colin from Spaceflight Made Simple, and today I want to bring you a quick video about tomorrow's Antares launch. Antares will be carrying the Cygnus NG-15 spacecraft on its way to the International Space Station. Like all Antares launches, this mission will launch from the Wallops Flight Facility on Wallops Island in Virginia. T0 for this launch is set for 12.36 p.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, February 20th. And just a few seconds before T0, the two engines on the first stage of the Antares rocket will be ignited. And at T0, the rocket will roar from the pad. As Antares climbs skyward, it will turn to the northeast on its way to the International Space Station. A few minutes into flight, the fairings protecting the spacecraft and the second stage of the vehicle will no longer be needed and they will be jettisoned. And shortly after that, the first stage will have expended all of its available liquid fuel and will be separated, leaving the solid rocket-powered second stage to continue on towards orbit. Once this stage has finished its burn and cut off its engines, it will separate the Cygnus spacecraft, which will deploy its solar panels and antenna. Having been successfully placed in orbit, the Cygnus will then begin making its way to the International Space Station. In the early hours of Monday, February 22nd, 2021, the Cygnus spacecraft will approach the International Space Station from underneath. Under its own power, it'll maneuver itself in formation under the International Space Station, where it will be grappled by the space station's robotic arm and docked with the Earth-facing side of the Unity module. Docking is scheduled for 2.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday, February 22nd. So what exactly is Cygnus doing at the space station? Well, like the Progress spacecraft that launched earlier this week, it will be delivering cargo supplies and scientific experiments to the orbiting outpost. Over the next couple months, the crew will remove the scientific experiments and, like Progress, pack the Cygnus full of garbage and waste. Once again, just like Progress, the Cygnus spacecraft will not return to Earth. And at the end of this mission, after after it's separated from the International Space Station, it will be allowed to burn up in Earth's atmosphere. So if you want to keep up to date with this mission, I'll leave some links down below that can help you with that. First off, I'll leave a link to NASA's YouTube channel where they'll be live streaming both the launch and the docking, and I'll also leave a link to my Twitter where I'll post up-to-date information on this launch as well as other upcoming events in spaceflight. And if you have any questions about Antares, Cygnus, the International Space Station, or anything else in spaceflight, leave them down below in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them there. And last but not least, if you enjoyed this video, head down below, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon so you get notified when I upload new videos. So for Spaceflight Made Simple, I'm Colin and I will see you next time.